tree vertical order traversal, leak code problem 314. So you are given the root as a parameter of a binary tree. And what you have to do is return in a list um, a vertical tra traversal, which would mean that the node that is all the way to the left of the binary tree gets printed out first. The nodes that are in the same vertical column, they get printed out together in a list like 3 and 15, <clears throat> and then going to the right, 20 and then 7. In this example here, um, 4 is most to the left, then 9, 3, 0, and 1 <clears throat> are all considered in the same column, so they get printed out in a list together and etc. So to solve this problem, we're going to do it um, very straightforward. So of course, we're going to have our, our list that is the answer in the method signature that is our return type. But we're going to use a, a Java pair so that we can keep track of the column that the node is in and also the node. So we're going to traverse this entire binary tree and then we're going to go back and print out the list based on what columns are left to right. Uh, so the second thing we're going to use is a queue um, to do our BFS so we can traverse. And the third thing we are going to do is use um, a tree map. And so the tree map key is going to be the column number. <clears throat> And the tree map value is just going to be right here, the value of that tree node. And so then once we traverse the tree, we will just have this tree map here and it'll give us the smallest column first and we can just add that to the list from left to right. Okay, so uh, the first thing I'm gonna make is the answer, which is needed to complete this, so a new array list. <clears throat> and before we um, have our first pair or start the queue, we're just gonna say, um, if this root is null, this little edge case here, we are just gonna return this blank answer. Okay, but first now let's make this Java pair. So um, let's just go and have a pair uh, with the type integer for the column and the second type is going to be this defined tree node here I'm just gonna call it P and I'm going to initialize it with um, first zero because we're gonna have this is going to be zero and then uh, the root <clears throat> Then we're going to have our queue to do our BFS, which is going to have um, a type of a pair. I'm just going to call it queue. And it's a linked list. Um, and then we're going to have our tree map. It is going to have the column number <clears throat> and then it is going to have a list of integers which will be the list of the values and I'm just going to call it tm okay um, so let's start our queue. <clears throat> the first thing that we do is we're going to add our initial pair and then we are going to say while this queue isn't empty we are going to traverse it. <clears throat> so let's get the first or let's get the next item that's on that queue which is going to be um, pair and it's this type here. I'm going to call it current or just CUR. It's going to be Q poll. 
Okay, so what is our column? Our column is going to be the key and um, the tree node that we're looking at that's here is going to be the value. So now we have this and we're going to use our tree map that's going to be the column number and the value that is the tree node. So I'm just going to say um, TM and then we're going to put the column number first. So that's going to be um, put and I'm just going to say that is this column number. And then I am going to, well, actually, I'm just going to use compute if absent. And the reason I'm doing that is because um, there is a list here that is in this tree map. And so I'll just, this is so in case the list doesn't exist yet. So if the list doesn't exist yet, make a new array list for that type. And we're going to add to that list um, this tree node here, that's our current one, val. So this is really just doing a put and saying like, if for, at this column, if there's not a new array list yet, make one and then just add that T value there. And this L here, I just named it L for no reason. It's not defined anywhere else. I could just call it list. Um, you can call it whatever you want. So then what do you do in a um, breadth first search? You're going to get the two children. So we're going to get those two children and then add it onto the queue. <clears throat> but first we have to check if it's null. So if t left is not equal to null. And how do I know that it's left? It's because it's defined right here in uh, this class. So I know I have access to my left and to my right. So if the left one isn't null, let's make a new pair. And call it left. And it is gonna be this column minus one and T left because I know that it is already not null, <clears throat> and then we can do the same thing for the right. Oh, of course I have to add it to the queue. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna add the left. And if it's to the right, I'm gonna take the column and add one and put the T right there. And then I'm gonna also add that to the queue. So I went left and it went right. I'm making the columns up higher or lower depending on what direction it's going. And then that should be it. So the only thing I have to do after that is just go through my tree map because it's going to give me the column, the first most left column first anyway, and add that to my answer. So really easy to do um, for every integer that is in my key set. going to say that get that list there so it's a list of integers in that key and I'm going to add it on
And after that, I can just return the answer. Okay, so let me see if I have any um, errors. run this okay so um, I think that should be it I'm just going to submit okay thanks